As you drove to work today, did you think about how your ride might change in the future? Over the next few years, the auto industry is expected to go through a massive transformation, more than anything we've seen over the last century. Self-driving vehicles, the end of car ownership, and new technology could completely redefine how we get from point A to point B. Joining me to explain is Dave Mao from TD Asset Management. Dave, I want to start with um, self-driving cars. We've heard a lot about when this could happen, companies like Tesla as early as 2019. Is that the time frame? And you know, what are some of the considerations there? Yes, yeah, sir. So I think Tesla is always a bit uh, aggressive when it comes to their forecast. I think most of the other players in this space right now uh, kind of think that they'll have something ready for the road uh, in the early part of the next decade, so maybe 2021 or 2022. Uh, in terms of the considerations, there's a couple of big things that are on the horizon. Uh, the first one is auto insurance. Uh, who's going to be responsible if there is ever an accident? Is it going to be the auto manufacturer? Is it going to be the owner of the car? Or is it going to be the person that's in the car? We don't know yet. And that's something that's going to need to be resolved. So I, I think we'll see some major changes in the way auto insurance works uh, in the future. Uh, the other really big thing that needs to change uh, before we see self-driving cars on the road is the current traffic and safety uh, regulations. So changes will need to be made at the federal level and at the local level as well to allow for uh, a car to operate without a human being at the wheel. Now, I think one of the really interesting things about these companies is the technology. And what's even more fascinating is you say that changes how we value cars in the future. How so? Yeah, so in the past and even right now, um, when people make a car buying decision, they, the things that influence their decision are the visual appeal of the car. Is it a good looking car? Uh, what kind of luxury features does it have? What kind of safety and performance features does it have? Uh, I think going forward, uh, there will be less emphasis placed on those things and more on the technology that's inside the car. And really, it's about what that technology can do for you and what it can do to improve your daily life. Uh, so think about it this way. Imagine a car that can take you to work in the morning, and then take itself to the car wash to get cleaned up, go to the school in the afternoon to pick up the kids uh, after school and take them home, and then at the end of the day, come back to your workplace and then pick you up and take you home. Um, that, that's a huge difference from how we use cars today. So it's not just about the technology, there's also potentially some demographic trends, and maybe even people won't own as many cars if, if that's the case. Uh, that's right. So most people right now agree that in the future, as autonomous vehicles uh, evolve, car ownership rates will decline uh, and the use of car sharing services or ride sharing services will increase. So basically, um, rather than owning a depreci depreciating asset, uh, people will prefer to pay for transportation as a service. Now, assuming all of these things happen, because there's a lot of unknowns at this time, what do you think that could do to traditional auto stocks? Um, well, I, I think the auto stocks that companies that focus on technological innovation will garner higher valuation multiples over time, whereas your traditional auto uh, manufacturers who do nothing more than simple assembly uh, will begin to trade more like commodities. Um, that, and that's because they're not doing anything to differentiate themselves from the pack. So what would your overall view right now be? Do you think investors should wait on the sidelines until some of these unknowns sort of shake out? Or do you think there's an opportunity to strategically play the auto space? Well, I, I think it's, it's a bit early yet to, to know exactly who the winners will be. Um, companies that, new companies that have entered the space like Google or Apple or Uber uh, certainly have an advantage when it comes to the technological front. Uh, but you have to remember that these are not car companies. They have no experience in, in making cars. And even Tesla uh, has a very short history of auto manufacturing when you compare them to companies like Ford or BMW or Toyota. So I, I think over time, uh, the winners will be uh, companies that join together. So a, a strong tech company um, that will bring technological breakthroughs, as well as an experienced auto manufacturer that work together and they'll be able to commercialize uh, this technology and bring the price down to a point where it's affordable and available for the mass market. So s potentially some M&A transactions could make this you know, a more affordable? Yes, and we've already seen partnerships uh, developing in the market already. So Google has partnered with Fiat Chrysler 
Uh, Uber has partnered with Volvo, and even Toyota has partnered with a computer chip company, NVIDIA. Putting some of the unknowns aside, if you had to put money to work in this space, what are some of the names that you like? Well, I think um, for companies like Google or Apple who do so many other things well, you're probably not going to buy those stocks just for the self-driving uh, car potential. But I think some of the auto suppliers in the space could be interesting. Uh, a name like Continental, which is a European uh, auto parts supplier, and they're actually best known for the, their tires. Uh, they have a division that supplies parts for driver assistance systems. And I think that part of their business is going to grow faster than the market. And the second name uh, that's interesting is Delphi, which is a U.S. auto parts supplier, but they're also a leader in making active safety uh, technology. And so I think their business will grow faster than the market over time as well as the amount of content that they put, that they put into each vehicle increases over time. Well, you've given us a ton of considerations and uh, lots to think about in the auto space. Thank you very much, David. Thank you.